Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Logan. And don't worry, I have tissues. <laughs> Before we hop on into the movie, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. They even have a fun sleep quiz that's designed to help match your unique body type and sleeping position with the perfect mattress for you. Tyler is a back sleeper while I'm a stomach sleeper, so when we took the quiz together, Helix matched us with their Dusk Luxe mattress. We've now had our mattress for over eight months and we absolutely love it. The Dusk Lux mattress provides just enough firmness and support while still feeling really plush and cozy. So from the moment that my head hits the pillow to when my alarm goes off the next morning, I find myself getting the deepest, most restful sleep I've had in years. With past mattresses, I would wake up feeling stiff and still pretty tired sometimes, Oftentimes I would actually need a nap just to get me through the day, but now with my new Helix mattress, I sleep more soundly throughout the night. I wake up with way less stiffness and more sustained energy throughout the day. So my afternoon naps are a thing of the past. With your purchase, Helix will give you a 100 night sleep trial plus a 10 year warranty, and they also have financing options and flexible payment plans. And if you're nervous about buying something you haven't tried, Helix will give you just over three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they will pick it up for you and give you a full refund. So either way, it's a win-win for you. Just click the link in the description or go to helixsleep.com slash nataliegold for up to $200 off your new Helix Sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Thank you so much again to Helix for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Now let's get back on into the video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. You, yes, you, hello, you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for subscribing. You are part of the reason this community is so great over here and that my channel is an amazing place to be. And I really appreciate those of you who are subscribed and welcome if you're new. Hi, hey, how are you? Maybe consider sticking around if you like this video and you like what you see. There's a little red button you can click below. I would really appreciate it. Today, we're finally getting into Logan and I'm really excited. This one has definitely been mentioned a lot in the comments down below. I'd say this one and Deadpool have been mentioned the most in terms of what people have been really excited for me to get to in this X-Men franchise. We've already seen Deadpool. We do have a Deadpool 2 coming soon after this, but this movie has been mentioned a lot and I think it's probably really different in tone from Deadpool. I've heard it's gonna make me cry. I'm assuming it's gonna be really dramatic and really gritty. I know that it's about, you know, Logan, Hugh Jackman. So um, yeah, probably gonna cry in this one because his story is always very sad. I don't think there's ever been anything that's happened to Wolverine that has been happy. <laughs> it's all just kind of a bummer with him, um, but I love to watch it because Hugh Jackman does a great job and I empathize with his character a lot. I remember when this movie came out in theaters and people were really raving about it. People had good things to say about it. I had no clue that it was even a superhero movie, let alone part of the X-Men world. I don't think I even really knew what the X-Men world was though at the time that this movie was in theaters. I just remember hearing it was a really dramatic movie that people were really loving. Uh, I had no clue that there was any action in it. so. I'm definitely excited to see this one because I just remember hearing buzz about it in the theaters and people seem to be really excited in the comments down below. I think it should be a really interesting reaction. And for those of you guys that don't know, I do have a Patreon page where I post all my full length reactions to everything we watch over here. I always link that in the description bar down below. If you're interested in watching these movies along with me and seeing all the moments that I cut out for the YouTube videos, because a lot gets cut out for the YouTube videos. I would definitely make sure to go check out my Patreon page and you can also vote in polls over there and help me decide what I watch next. You'll also find a link down there to my second channel, Just Nat, where I post other kinds of reactions, different kinds of content and vlogs. I definitely have a lot of fun over there and I'm posting over there more regularly. So if you wanna see something different from me, make sure to check that out too. But that's all I really have to say, guys. I'm just excited to hop on into this one. It's definitely been hyped up a fair bit in my mind, but I feel like it will hold up to the hype. I mean, Deadpool certainly did. And I don't really have too many expectations with this one, aside from the fact that it's just liked as a good movie. And you guys rarely steer me wrong. So with all that being said, I think we should hop on into it. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, 
and let's get into Logan. <laughs> no, this is the least. No one's gonna pay to ride. Oh, he's in the bad part of town. He's. All you did was make him angry. Wow, the style already is very dark and gritty. Guys, yeah, seriously, you don't want to do this. <laughs> what happened with one of his claws? Finally. Good job. Yeah, I'm sorry. If that guy, if that man stood up after I shot him and then whipped out those claws, I'd be like, you're right. I don't want to do this. I really don't. I'm done. And I would just walk away. I'd be like, sorry, homies. You're on your own. Oh. Oh, you made him angry. You really don't want him. His car. No. Oh, now you really pissed him off. It was Elise. Oh, that guy's done. Yeah, bye bye. Run away while you can. Oh, nice. Good one. He has just lived through so much physical pain and damage. Is this a limo? Why does it look like a limo? Oh yeah, the music is so like somber and dramatic and then seeing all the dead bodies. Are we in Texas? That was a Texas plate. That's a long way from Canada. Yeah, El Paso, huh? Oh, he's a limo driver? That is so crazy. Even He's even grayer in this movie than he normally is. Like he looks tired and more weathered in this movie. I'm in trouble. Oh God, who is it? I don't know, some crazy lady. Don't worry. Uh, 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 she gonna follow you in her car? Man, whenever it's, oh, here she comes. Oh, there's a little girl in the car. I wonder if that's the little girl from the cover of the movie. Whenever I see rain shots like this in movies, I wonder if they shot it in LA because if they did, they had to spend a lot of money to create that rain because it rarely rains here. He's paying somebody to pick something up at a hospital. Oh boy. <gasps> this guy has a bionic arm who's watching him. I know what you're hiding in me, you know. The old cue ball south of the border. Cocaine? Wait. <laughs> I know I said June, but I need the bow now. Oh, he's trying to escape. You don't have the drugs in your car when you're going south of the border, huh? Oh, he's hiding something south of the border. Okay. I don't know what it is. Oh, he got waved through. He must go down there often. I guess that's why he lives in Texas. This is such a different setting than what I was expecting because we're so used to seeing him in the north. He's coughing a lot too, which is interesting for somebody who can like heal himself. Like, why is he coughing so much? I wonder what kind of stuff he was getting at the hospital, if it's like typical drugs or if it's like something else. He's having a bad day. They're all bad days. Oh, it's for somebody else. Who, for who? Who's the cue ball south of the border? Cue ball makes me think of a bald person. It wouldn't be like Professor X, right? That wouldn't make sense. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so proud of myself. I said, big way, the new Kizalupa from Taco Bell. Get it with chicken. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, he's losing it. Come on. Oh, oh, he's putting out a frequency that's affecting all of them. Oh, Jesus. What's happening to Charles? Is he losing his mind? What's going on? Oh, this is so sad. The shots, no, the seizures, the pills keep them from happening. Oh, it was a seizure. That's so sad. It's like he's got Alzheimer's, you know? There are no new mutants, understand? What? There's been a new one born in 25 years, not anywhere. What? And there hasn't been a new mutant in 25 years? What is going on? No one should live like this, drugs in a f***ing tank. For your own good. No, no, it's not. Oh, I feel so bad for him. This. You're waiting for me to die. I feel so bad for him. This is so depressing. This is awful, man. Why are they all gone? What happened to everybody? Oh, God. So we're in the future. Like, hella future. Ew. Oh, so it got jammed? Ugh. Is that why he looks so much older here? Like, his hair is gray? Like, maybe he just ages. He does age, but he just ages, like, way f slower than everyone else because of his healing abilities. Like, maybe he can actually eventually die? Because he does look older here. That's barely a minute. It felt a lot longer than a minute. I couldn't. Oh, I recognize this guy. Is this, uh, this is this. Oh, what's his name? You're saving to buy a sun seeker. Oh, the sun bow. is the key word. I hardly see myself cowering below decks like Nosferatu. <laughs> Nosferatu. <laughs> it's the actor who's always with Ricky Gervais in that show. Oh, what's his name? Found this in your pocket. Adamantium. If you are planning to blow your brains out, could you wait till you're out on the high seas? Oh, 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 a bullet. Oh, that's really sad, man. Stephen Merchant. How did they make Stephen Merchant look like this? It's really, hair and makeup did a great job. Oh, are they going on a bridesmaid party in prom dresses? That's kind of hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of fun. He has glasses with the tag still on him. 
Wait, oh, I totally miss what the phone said. <laughs> Wait, this is this the same little girl from the car? I bet she's a new mutant. Because Charles was like, there are, there's a new mutant. I bet it's her. Because she was on the cover, I'm pretty sure. My boyfriend, he wants to kill me and take her. Why? That's your daughter? Yes. There will be no problems if we leave now. I can't just leave to North Dakota. We have to be there Friday. Or what? Or we miss our chance to cross. Why? What about Professor X? Charles, listen, I gotta go. Uh... Oh, he is gonna help. Will you be safe there? Oh, This really is a depressing way to live in this water tank with no sunlight. I feel like this woman is gonna die, like no questions asked, and he's just gonna be trying to get the little girl across the border. Oh yeah, the door was kicked in. It's already over. He's gonna have to go get the girl. Here she is dead, huh? Only reason I thought that is because uh, she wasn't on the cover with them. And we don't really need her. We really just need the little girl to empathize. They he oh, she was trying to text. He was too late. Man, this definitely is like a lot more like dark and morbid. And I like that I'm left with so many questions already about what's going on and what this world is like. Who's that? Oh God. Oh, it's this guy. There's no girl here. I know you went to the motel. I wonder if she is in the limo. I wonder if the girl fled maybe. <laughs> Jesus, she she got here? What the f This is who I've been telling you about. Oh, oh, okay, okay, Laura, you scared me. No, Logan, what? I don't, I think that- you're gonna rip it. Stop. She's a little girl who just lost her mother, man. You gotta be gentler than that. Don't wake up, dude. Oh, God. I'm worried. Oh, f Oh, no. It's over, guys. It was all an act. Ah, oh, Choo-choo. No, it's not. It's not a choo-choo. <laughs> this is good for Logan, because he's so, like, messed up, and he's been through so much shit. He's acting all, like... He's not really acting like himself in this movie, and I think having to take care of a little girl is is good for him. I wonder what Laura's power is. What if it's so crazy? What if she's gonna do some crazy and get them out of this mess? Oh, you guys are trapped. Surprised no one's shot him yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's still eating. <laughs> wonder if she's like a telekinetic and that's why Charles could feel her. Although Charles, Used to feel everyone with Cerebro. That sounds wrong. <laughs> she's got to do something epic. I can't believe she's just going to get caught. Yeah, they're screaming. What's that? Oh, that's a head. That's the guy's head. That is gross. I see why it's rated R. Oh. Honey, you want to... Don't call her honey. I don't think she likes that. What, you think you can tame her? No. No. She has his powers. She's a mini Wolverine. What? Oh, he's gonna love her now. Oh, they're, oh, he's gonna be a lot more invested in her now. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Was she naturally born with adamantium claws or some <laughs> She's like him, but better because she's young and fast. <laughs> nice. Wow, she's strong. <laughs> Wolverine's getting in on the action. Yeah! Poor Charles just has to sit in the car and listen. <laughs> She has one in her feet. She's crazy. She's got them everywhere. My God. Wow, she's so good. I was not expecting this. I think he's invested now. He just, yeah, exactly. He's gonna flip the car around. <laughs> I was like, he's not leaving her now. Now he's interested. Wow, I love all the acrobatics I'm seeing from her. Woo! If that woman isn't her mother, who are the parents of this little girl? Is Wolverine like the daddy? There they go. Oh, ouch. Oh, they're gonna try to get ahead of the train. Oh, shit. he's gotta beat the train. Oh God, this limo has seen better days. I don't think you're gonna be able to catch this train. Wow, that was crazy. That is crazy. It's a nice long train. Bring me the tracker. Oh, they didn't kill the tracker. Oh, they didn't kill the uh, Stephen Merchant because they probably knew his abilities. Oh yeah, this guy's alive. You used to work for my team. You were helping round up all those old mutes. Oh, he helped round up mutants. That's awful. His own kind. So they, they exterminated mutants in this world. It's so sad. Beware of the light. Oh. Oh. They're going to put him in sunlight to torture him? Because he always has a mask and goggles on whenever he's outside. Does the sunlight hurt him? She's not a natural 
fuck up like you. She's a business mistake, an R&D gone bad, there's liability. Oh God, his skin is burning so fast. Oh God, poor Caliban. And for 10 years, I worked for Transigen Research in Mexico City. Oh. Oh, did, I guess they said she's a research and development project gone bad, so maybe this girl is just modeled after Logan. That's a lot of kids! That's so sad, they're being held in prison. This is business. They are making soldiers. They are, they're making really angry soldiers, too. Oh, they did alter her skeleton. She's your daughter, Logan. Oh. Oh. Because they had his genetic code, I see. Oh, don't steal the Pringles, girl. Oh, okay. I don't blame her, but. You know, you gotta pay for that, right? Uh oh. Wait, don't hurt this store clerk. These two. <laughs> don't hurt him! <laughs> Thank you! <sighs> uh, <laughs> you still phone charges? <laughs> and a cigar. <laughs> nice. That was a nice touch. They started putting the children to sleep. That's horrible, man. That's just awful. I read about a place up north. A place for mutants. They call it Eden. In Canada? It's really ironic considering Alkali Lake is also in Canada. Whoa, he can set people on fire. I'm gonna cry. This is like really sad, man. I am not sure if any other children survived. Oh, I really hope they do. She is not my child, but I love her. No. You may not love her, but she is your child. Oh, she knew. She knew it was Logan's child. Oh, that's why she found Logan. Oh, it all makes sense. Oh, Logan really just be getting thrust into all these crazy scenarios all the time. Poor guy. Nice. That's a good hat. That's a good look for you, Charles. Wow, I really didn't think Charles was going to be in this movie at all, let alone so prevalent. Thank you. She wants to push my buttons. Stand there. <laughs> She's like Buddy the Elf. <laughs> <coughs> He's coughing so much. He's so sick. He's drinking a lot. Oh, I wonder if the two are probably tied together. Man, he would never need glasses before either. His body is actually aging. I mean, you know, better late than never, I guess. You don't want to live forever. He's lived a long time. Oh, oh, even in this world, X-Men are a cartoon. Maybe a quarter of it happened and not like this. Why are you being so mean? Can stop it, this is ice cream for bedwets. Logan. She's a child. I don't think Laura needs reminding of life's impermanence. Yeah, I think you're teaching a weird lesson to somebody who's very familiar. In one hour. Does she speak English? I, I thought she just spoke Spanish, but maybe she speaks English. Oh no, uh oh, they're all here. At least there's a lot going on here. Uh oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You really should have put on a hat, dude. Oh, no. That's Charles. Well, this is a good distraction for him to get inside, but also bad that he didn't take the pills. Charles really trying to kill everybody with these seizures. Oh, no. Is he gonna have to fight somebody off in this state? Oh, he's using his claws to move forward. This guy's frozen. Oh, look, his eyes are moving. He can't move the rest of his body. Wow, that's how strong Wolverine is. Oh, I guess the seizure was really well-timed. Holy <laughs> Oh my God. I imagine the way that they filmed this was probably really funny, just him moving in slow motion and them adding the like the vibrating effect in post. <laughs> oh, look at her, she knew. She knew exactly what he needed. Look at them working together. I hope it goes through the jacket. Ah, nice. Ugh, and now you gotta go, which is just exhausting. You gotta go right now. Also, it looks like she's wearing red Doc Martens, which is kind of crazy. Ooh, everybody, everyone feels a little rough. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize, don't apologize, Charles. I know, I know you feel so bad, but you don't want to draw attention to yourself. Ooh, at least it's taking everyone a while to recover, but he's totally gonna see them, isn't he? I hope not, maybe not. Did they get out of there? Oh, nice job. Nice job, guys. Good job, good job, good job. Whew! Take out two pills and give them to me. Logan, Logan. Give them to me. Now! I want to see it. Uh. <laughs> hey, poor Logan has to babysit two children. <laughs> One is just better at communicating. <laughs> but they're both children. <laughs> F man. F what an asshole. And the horsies. What about the horsies? Are the horsies okay? Oh, they're running away. No, 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 no. Please help him. Please help him. Please help him. Please don't let a horse die. Please. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Stop truck. What the f Hello. 
Oh, they're auto trucks, right. Because we're in the future. This is why auto trucks suck. Is he gonna use his mind to do it? Charles. Oh, good job, Charles. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. Good job. Okay, get in the trailer, horsies. Guys, I was so f***ing scared, man. That horse was gonna get smashed by a f***ing truck. Well, the auto trucks suck at driving. That's great. I love this future. That's very realistic. Well, can we show our appreciation and treat the three of you to a decent meal? Aw, say yes. No, that would be lovely. <laughs> oh, look at that sunset. Holy f Was that an actual sunset that they caught? and they just boosted it in post. That is beautiful. Look at this beautiful home they have. You better not bring this family any trouble. Well, you're speaking to a, uh, a man who ran a school for a lot of years, right, Charles? He was there too. Oh yeah, yeah, no, um, I got kicked out a few times. <laughs> I wish I could say you were a good pupil, but the words would choke me. <laughs> aw, aw, look at them having a good time. Oh no. Someone here. Oh no, they're coming. Oh god damn it. Can't we just leave this nice family alone? You can't thank them enough for this. They're all gonna get killed because of you guys. The pump station that supplies us is a mile and a half from here. Sometimes oh. it gets itself shut off. By assholes. Hey. Oh, that's sad. The men that do this, sometimes they can be... I can go. No, you got homework. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna go, but I'm worried that like... I'm worried that the military guys or the science guys, whatever. I don't know what to call them. Transigen? The transigen guys are on the way. I'm worried. Unless that wasn't them off in the distance. And I'm just needlessly worried. This is what life looks like. A home. People love each other. Yeah. I wish he, I bet he wishes he could have it, but he always has to fix problems. Also, he has to take care of you, Charles. Even after the girl. He can't just go li live off a normal life. You're wanted. You like it? Aww. Well, here, you can take it for tonight, and Aww. I'll get it back from you in the morning. You might not get it back from her son. I'm concerned still that this family's gonna die. I'm gonna count to three, and you're gonna start walking away. I got rice to this one. One. I have a lawyer now. Two. Two. Three. Nice. Good job. Ooh. The only thing is. You just drew a lot of attention to yourself, Wolverine, by breaking that gun. I'm a little concerned they're gonna call the cops, but I'm happy that this guy didn't get shot. Whew! You've had training. Uh, something like that. Hey, don't wake her yet. Let her sleep another hour. Oh, Is it not Logan? I'm scared, because we haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Wait, what? Logan. What is happening? Is this a nightmare? Wait, what's happening? What's happening? No, this isn't Logan. Oh no, don't kill the little boy. Don't kill the little boy. No, 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 no. Why, why, why is it always so predictably obvious when someone's gonna die? Why did this family have to f die? This poor family did nothing wrong. They did absolutely nothing wrong. And this guy's just another Logan, which is awful. Just a young Logan. Who the f is that? It's Logan. Oh, is it not? Holy sh Oh, it's not. Wait, who is this? Will Monson! Oh, it's these f***ing guys. Well, that's good. For once, I'm happy to see him. No, no, no. Oh, we didn't like that. No. Wow. No, so sad, man. His like eyes looked like they were glowing right as he was dying. God, poor, it sucks to be Logan, man. You outlive everybody. Oh God, he's such a bummer. What is Caliban gonna do? <gasps> a grenade. Yes, come on Caliban. Yes, nice job Caliban. To wear the light. He's the only one that's gonna survive, yeah. Oh, good job, Caliban. Good job, Caliban. The ultimate sacrifice. Oh, he's got to fight the younger, more efficient version of himself. And both of you have healing abilities. Oh, God, I can't imagine this is going to end well. He's the new and improved version. Ah, right in the armpit. Are you kidding me? Who's that? Is that, is Will alive? Will, it's Will. After all this, he's still helping them. After his wife and son are dead and he got shot. Are you gonna shoot him too? He's probably pissed. 
I would be. Oh. <laughs> He's out. He's out. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, God. This is so sad, man. I can't believe this family had to die. I mean, I can totally believe it. I understand why they did it. It's so predictable, but it just breaks my heart. No, it's just these two. So sad. God, it's just so awful. This family never got to go on vacation. Burying him. I wonder if she's ever gonna say anything to him in English or Spanish, just anything. <laughs> it's got water in there. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It's got water. <sighs> I thought it was gonna be okay. <laughs> I really did put the tissues box back after. <laughs> oh, don't. What are you doing? You're not. You can't leave her, man. <laughs> That's funny as f man. <laughs> I love that they chose to do this shot from so far away. Just hearing him scream at the car in the distance is such a funny choice. <laughs> I love it when something funny immediately happens after, like I'm weeping. That's when I know a movie is like carrying my emotions well. <laughs> Although I'm, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Logan, my God. You should say thank you. Thank you. There you go. Did she say, she said, yeah? You can talk. <laughs> Rebecca, Delilah, oh, who's that? Rito. Those are the kids. Gideon. Who is that? Those are the kids in the photo, dude. The project. <laughs> yeah. Your nurse, she read too many stories. You understand? It could, but that's where they're all headed anyway. But that's probably where they're all headed. Okay, this whole, it happened once and they just turned into a big Lie. I'm mind blown how much like how much older and weathered he really looks in this movie compared to how he looks in real life like it's impressive he looks so sick I'm concerned that he's not healing I wonder what the sickness is like is it just because he's aged is it because he's drinking or is it something else oh he got the photo oh no this is the problem with writing these coordinates in multiple places let me drive why do you drive? Oh, is it because he's falling asleep and dying at the wheel here? Yeah, he doesn't look good. Te estás muriendo. I think she says you're dying. You are dying. Yeah, I recognize the word muriendo because muerte means death or to die. So no, death. Rest. So that was easy. Is she gonna drive? She's on a time crunch. Yeah, yeah, get it girl. Just hope you don't get pulled over by a cop. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love desert sunsets, man. Does she take us off-roading? Where are we? This isn't North Dakota, right? Already? Are we already here? Were we that close? Oh, he's <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no, he needs help, man. We're gonna hoist him up. Oh, that's terrifying. Don't look down, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're all here. Oh, look at this little hideout. Although it's jerk guy with the bionic arm has the coordinates, unfortunately. But it kind of makes sense that we'd have like a battle here with all these kids, you know? Where'd you get that? Where we came from. It'll kill you. Uh, not if you use it in small doses. It's helping you heal. Really? Holy f Oh my God, is he the only adult here? She will have nightmares. See, people hurt me. I knew different. He hurts I other hurt people, people in his. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Because we've seen him. <laughs> ¿Qué es esto? Oh, the bullet. I'm so happy I took Spanish, honestly, because I'm understanding everything she's saying. This is great. And there's no English, like, translations for what she's saying. I'm just, man, Spanish really came in handy. Uh-oh. A drone. They really should have, like, had the meeting place be somewhere other than where they decided to, like, stay. You know? In case the coordinates got captured. But then we wouldn't really have a climax to this movie. They're trimming his bit. <laughs> He's not gonna like that, guys. <gasps> no, they pranked him with little mutton chops. That's funny. We had to wait, it was the plan. Everyone had till today to find their way here. Oh, oh, okay, I, right. Their plan is to go into Canada, right. I forgot about that, honestly. So this was never the plan to stay here, that's fine, okay. Take it, she says it's yours. It's why you did it, right? No, it's probably not. It's not why he did it at all, really. Look, I don't need it, you do. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Good job, Wolverine. Oh, 
don't, don't leave. He's gonna stay. Don't leave. I don't know what Charles put in your head, but I am not whatever it is you think I am. Yes, you are. Even if it's just in, with DNA. And it is better this way, because I suck at this. You do. Bad <laughs> happens to people I care about. No. Oh. Oh, I can just hear the pain in his voice every time he speaks in this movie, man. I'm really enjoying this movie so much more than any other movie with Wolverine because, like, this is where I feel like I'm really getting to see him act, like, the way he wants to. Or at least just in a more vulnerable light. Did they leave? Holy <laughs> they left. Oh, they're on their way. A lot of drones. Yep, Wolverine's gonna ha go have to save the kids. He's gonna take that medication with him, but like, what's that gonna do? Like, in the last 20 minutes of this movie? It, it, maybe he'll take it all at once and go crazy so he can go Hulk mode and save them? Yeah, he's gonna have to take it. He's like a mess. Oh God, he's a mess. Jesus. He's not in shape anymore. This is so sad. He's falling apart. They're so close. They, they need you to Hulk out, Wolverine. They need you to Hulk out. Come on. He's gonna do it. Yep. I'm ready. I'm ready for boss man Wolverine. She's Ice Girl. Oh, f ah, gnarly, bro. Ow. Oh, gnarly. <laughs> Logan. Yes, man. Yes. Oh, wow. This is a this is a fun sh shot to watch with the trees. Oh, he's going a little crazy, though. Oh, God. I bet weapon 24 is here, though. <laughs> Uh, you know, in reality, what's probably going to happen is that they're going to release Reppin 24 and Logan might die in this movie, honestly. And he, he's just going to make the ultimate sacrifice and probably die so that the kids can make it across the border because it's really about them being able to live. Wow, what beautiful lighting in the woods. Look at that coming through the trees. So nice with Hugh Jackman running at you. Can't complain there. Look at this. They work so well together when he's all hopped up on drugs. <laughs> Father and daughter. <laughs> So nice. You'll know when. You'll know when. Oh yeah, they're all gonna have to fight together. That's what's gonna have to happen. He looks like a zombie. He really be walking like a zombie in this movie, man. We embarked on our next endeavor. Growing mutants of your own. Precisely. It's dangerous times, James, you can't. He just pulled out a gun, like, so fast. So fast! How did the doctor not notice Wolverine pulling out a gun? Man, he did like that old Western style shootout. Is that why the music's like vaguely Western? Oh no, here he is, 24. Oh fun, this isn't gonna go well. Man, I was really hoping that the doctor would get taken out some cooler way, like by his own science project, but this is fine. Oh no, yeah, crumple him, crumple him, you got it. Yeah, strangle him, kill him. Well, they are killing him. I just want to cheer him on. I love it. He deserved that, asshole. Wow. He can move Earth? Holy sh Nice job, dude. I feel like that didn't kill him, but that was really cool. Yeah, the truck's moving. What is she gonna do? Oh, the gun? Oh, God, Laura. Oh, the adamantium bullet. Oh, it came back around. She's got one shot. Oh, he's dying though. He's totally dying in this movie. Wow. Good job, Laura. Wow. No. no. Oh, oh, I don't want to cry again. It's the most emotion I've seen from this girl the whole movie. I'm not okay. No. You don't be what they made you. No. These are haunting last words, dude. Right. <laughs> no. Oh, so this is what it feels like. No. No. Oh God, man. Oh. Oh God, I can't stop crying. <laughs> oh. Oh, why can't we just leave mutants alone? They are burying him here before they cross the border. Like, guys, this is really nice of y'all, but like, you really should move, man. Oh, my heart hurts, man. Like, it actually hurts. Oh! Oh, ha, 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 Oh, that's kind of cute. It's cheesy, but like, that's, it meant something to her. That's cute. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Frick, man. <laughs> I feel like I cried all my makeup off. 
Oh, okay. Well, it has been a while since I've watched a movie that actually made my heart hurt at the end. That's exactly what I've been wanting for a little while. I uh, We've been watching a lot of superhero content lately. And that's mostly just kind of been fun and felt like a roller coaster ride. This is the first movie in a little while that's really like hit me in the feels the whole time and just kind of wrecked me in the end. But I wanted that. So, oh God, so sad, but so good. You know, I was kind of joking <laughs> when I guessed that Professor X was going to be in this after the cue ball reference. I should have gotten it faster, I guess, with the word cue ball. But I'm still proud that I guessed it before we saw him, I guess. But... I was definitely surprised to see him in this movie and to see him have such a present part in it for so long. I really didn't expect that. It definitely added to the story in such a beautiful way because when you lose him, it means so much. And then for Logan to make that incredible sacrifice in the end just meant that much more after he's lost everyone that means something to him. All for, you know, his daughter and for the next generation of kids to be safe. I mean, it's such a meaningful thing. I also really appreciated the fact that we just played with lighting a lot more and cinematography. It was a lot more gritty. Felt like there were more handheld shots that were more messy in this movie than in any of the other X-Men movies. It felt more like a real cinematic experience, whereas some of the past X-Men movies just feel like you're on a roller coaster ride. This one felt more like what I look for when I sit down to watch a dramatic movie. Uh, and for that, I really appreciated it. All the monologues from Patrick Stewart were delivered so beautifully. I was really glad we got to see him in this because in the X-Men movie franchise, I will say, like, you do have such a powerhouse cast of actors in all these films. And I feel like with the films with Michael Fassbender and with James McAvoy, um, I've always noticed how even if some of the lines are more cheesy, I still really enjoy their performances because they do such a good job. And I know that I love actors like Sir Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart, and I'm just really happy that we got to have a movie where I really got to see his range. I mean, not even just like dramatically and um, in a sentimental way, but also comedically too. I mean, he had funny moments in this script, not a ton, but a few, uh, like when he was didn't want to take the pills, you know? <laughs> um, I just really enjoyed getting to see him play around in the story a lot. And likewise with Hugh Jackman, because he's incredible. He's so talented. I mean, I've seen him on stage separately from this kind of genre of stuff, but to see him in this movie where he really got to be vulnerable and a mess and have these dark monologues where you just could see his vocal technique being so impeccably demonstrated in this movie. There were multiple moments where I'm going to I'm going to work myself up talking about it. That's what happens with me. Whew. There were moments in this script where I would be fine. <laughs> I'm working myself up again. Oh no. This is the problem with trying to do an outro immediately after I finished filming a movie like this is I haven't calmed down. <laughs> Ah! There were multiple moments in this movie where his vocal technique, I could feel his pain coming out in his tone of what he was saying. Just not even the lines, but like literally just <laughs> in the tone of the way he would say a word. Like when his voice was breaking, when he, oh, I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> this is how much this moves me, man. Like, oh, uh, okay. Maybe I should just stop. <laughs> huh. I was going to film something else today. I don't know if I can. <laughs> I'm just a sensitive Sally. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm such a mess. Specifically in the moments where he buried Charles and in the moments when he was telling Laura, like, what do you want from me? Like, I got you here. I got you to your fr your friends. Like, I lost everyone I loved because of this. Those moments specifically, his, his vocal technique was just impeccable. A lot of actors in moments like that will just kind of like yell and the emotion will be obvious on their face. But with Hugh, it's just, he embodies it, man. It just comes out in his voice, his face, his body, everything, his whole being and he makes you feel it and I really appreciate that this movie we got to see that from him because he's done a great job in all the movies but I don't think he really gets to show his true colors and his full range in the other X-Men movies and in this one 
He really did. And uh, I would love more superhero movies like this that are R-rated, you know? Like, Deadpool is R-rated, too. Um, I, I think, <laughs> make them all R-rated, man. Like, let's get real with it. Let's let's get gritty with it. I love it. Um, I know that that's not always marketable, even though these movies did incredible in theaters. Um, it's not for every audience, but I love it. I think it was great. Uh, and before I cry anymore, I think I should go. <laughs> Incredible job by everyone involved. Loved this. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate y'all putting up with my sniffly nose <laughs> and my crying. I definitely cried a lot in this one. You guys told me I would. And it was funny because I remember <laughs> I cried when Charles died, but I really didn't cry like as hard as I thought I would. And it wasn't until we went to his burial scene where Hugh started breaking down that I was not okay anymore. So <laughs> for a moment, I was like, I I handled that like a champ. I'm getting out unscathed. This is great. I'm doing fine. And then he said one word and his voice quivered. And I was like, I'm not okay now. <laughs> so y'all told me I was going to need a box of tissues and you weren't wrong. I used a lot of tissues. <laughs> I really need a tissue sponsorship. Like if there's any sponsorship out there that is more relevant to me, Besides drinks and snacks, it's a tissue sponsorship. Like Kleenex, hi. <laughs> Puffs, hello. <laughs> I really uh, use a lot of tissues. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you stuck it all the way through, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, maybe let me know your favorite X-Men movie in the comments down below. If you made it this far, comment down below. What's your favorite X-Men movie? This one might be my favorite. I really like Deadpool because it's fun. I think Deadpool is maybe more rewatchable than this. But I really liked this one. I think this one might be my favorite so far. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.